Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales and today we got a beauty for you. This beautiful 1957 Chevy two-door hardtop resto mod. This is what everybody's going nuts about these days are these resto mods. Check out the chrome up here on this grill. Absolutely beautiful. No imperfections. You can comb your hair in them. The body is laser straight on this. We go out and we find the best cars available to the market. All the alignment on the door, the hood, everything is very correct. Check out inside. Beautiful black and red interior. You got a five speed manual trans, you got a tilt column in there. The interior is absolutely stunning. The aftermarket seats are covered in uh, stock material that matches the 57 Chevy as well. Check out the door lips here. Absolutely nice, crisp, and clean. You can tell this car never suffered any bad rust. Remember, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're a non-consignment dealer. Every car is here because we've gone out and inspected it, brought it back, have gone through it, checked it out so it's ready for the road. Check out this trunk, absolutely beautiful. Looks like you even get a car cover on this one and a cup holder. Even the chrome on the rear bumper is absolutely beautiful as well. All the trim, there's no dings or anything on that. And laser straight as well on this side. All the chrome around the door handle, everything's absolutely beautiful. We're available seven days a week by phone at 248-974-9513. We also have lenders that will finance our classic cars. So give us a call, 248-974-9513. My name is Tom, and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dream in your driveway. All right, guys, let's go for a ride in this 57 Resto Mod. Four wheel disc brakes, 350 motor, five speed manual trans, AC, heat, unbelievable drive. Everyone's looking for Resto Mods anymore. If you want the modern day convenience of a today car and a classic, here we have it, guys. Right here in this 57 Chevy two door hardtop. Absolutely beautiful. The American iconic classic car right here. With great power too. Looks like we got a little road jam over here. Remember at Vanguard we are non-consignment. We own each and every one of our cars and we strive to find the best cars out there. And uh, we bring them into our shop and we go through them. So when you get your new car, you have a great experience. We're available seven days a week by phone at 248-974-9513 and our shop is open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, Saturday 9 to 3. If you want to come in, we can even pick you up from the airport. We can assist in all your buying needs from transportation, to financing, we can handle it all for you. 98 of our buyers do buy sight unseen, and uh, you can too, so give us a call. My name is Tom, 248-974-9513.
This is our building in Plymouth, Michigan at 15100 Keel Street. This is where it all happens. We'd love to have you come by and see us. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 1957 Chevy, um, and I got a lot to show you under here. This guy's uh, worksmanship was pretty sweet. So you can see all of the frame. If that's not powder coat, it's a, like a really nice paint job, and the whole frame is done like that. Same thing with the gas tank here. Look at the guy's exhaust work on this thing. You can see here, this looks, if I'm not mistaken, that's all TIG welded, and it's all mandrel bent, and you don't get any of the exhaust crimps, and it's like that all the way forward, which is really sweet. Um, now, we do have disc brakes on either side of this Ford 9 inch here. 373 is a gear ratio. Obviously, it is a posi traction. Big old Hank and rims there to let you see the brakes. Another cool thing here is we do have the um, KYB gas shocks on this thing. And I know that it made my car ride, it turned my car from a dump truck to a Cadillac. I really, I highly recommend these. And this car has them on it, both front and back, which is really cool. Um, another cool thing about this car is this guy's line work was amazing here. So, where is your gas line? If you follow that gas line all around here, I mean, you look at the way that this guy ran this. I mean, nice tight bends, everything is nice. I mean, this is, that's sweet. To me, this is what makes nice cars is, you know, nice wiring and nice line work. Another cool thing that he did too, it was actually kind of made to be worked on too. Um, your exhaust actually, you know, along with uh, all of the mandrel bent stuff back here, I can see here you've got a couple of exhaust machine crimps, but you know, whatever. Um, you actually can take all this stuff apart, which is really, really cool. So you don't have to cut the exhaust off if you ever wanted to take it off for any reason. Um, another cool thing this car has, it's got cow tracks on it, or Traction Masters, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and these actually keep your wheel hop from uh, going out of control, which is really, really cool. And on leaf spring cars, it's a lot of the time needed. Um, another cool thing here, you can look over on this side here. Guys, brake, uh, brake line work is the same way as his fuel line. Everything is nice. Uh, got the nice insulated P-clamps, I mean, all the way through. All of his lines are pinned straight along this jet black frame. Moving forward of all of that, that is an H-pipe. That's a big H-pipe there you can see. Uh, you got a set of Flowmaster musters in between it, but man, I've never seen one that long before. Moving uh, forward to that, transmission cross member here. The thing that it's holding up is a uh, TKO transmission. This is one of Tremec's badasses right here. That's a good transmission and it shifts great. Um, if you ever had an opportunity to drive a TKO transmission, they hold a ton of power and they shift amazing. Um, moving forward of all of that, I mean, just look at the floorboard work on this car. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal under here. I mean, look at all this. You can tell there's no overspray. There's none. I mean, this car was painted and then assembled, which is exactly what you want to see on a high quality car. Moving forward of all of that, we do have the explosion poop uh, bell housing, God forbid. Moving forward of that, we do have uh, the uh, nice, like the, I would say T pan, but the uh, increased oil capacity oil pans, which is really cool. And these uh, headers, I think I can see why they made the exhaust like that. These long tube headers have got a big long girth on them, which is really cool, or a big long sweep on them, which is really sweet to see. Um, see here, it looks like we do have a more modern style starter in this thing. The front end looks to be just like an original type of end that has just been restored to a pretty high quality here, as you can see. Uh, it's got the, like I had mentioned underneath there, we do have the uh, gas shocks on the front, disc brakes on the front. Um, it looks like we have the uh, polyurethane sway bar bushings, probably an upgraded sway bar in this thing. Moving forward of all of that, you can see underneath of your, uh, your radiator pan, whatever you'd like to call it here, this area here. It's in beautiful shape, all of his wiring is nice and tucked up, nice and neat. Insulated P-clamps all in a sheath, it's really, really nice. The, the worksmanship on this car is A1, I can't say enough about it. Looking up in the wheel well even, I mean, you got your horns up here, but I mean, look at all that up there. I mean, this car doesn't even look like it was driven in the rain, and I actually think I take back my original suspension uh, comment here. It looks like we got a set of tubular aftermarket upper control arms on this thing, which is really cool. Moving around to the side here, you got a shot at our disc brakes. Tire size is 255-45ZR17. Z is a speed rating for the tire, which means this is a little bit of a sportier tire on this, which is really cool. Good looking set of rims on it. Let's go check out the rear. And while you're on your way to the rear, you can take a look at this uh, paintwork on this car. Really, really nice. Looks like, I mean, it's flat. I don't see any uh, overspray, I shouldn't say overspray, uh, orange peeling or any of that going on. Look up in that wheel well. I mean, that's pretty sweet up there. It's all orange up in there. Very, very nice. So back here, as far as wheels go, you can see a bunch of hot rods going on in the background. This is a 255-35ZR20, so quite a bit bigger out here. Makes these uh, big old disc brakes look a little bit smaller, but uh, overall good looking, almost brand new looking set of rims on it. Very, very cool. And that all being said, let's take a look at the small block under the hood. All right, guys, this is the power plant. This is a uh, 350 Chevy. Um, now, this thing has got quite a few performance add-ons here. You can see we got a Performer RPM uh, set of cylinder heads, which are a good set of cylinder heads, especially when they're matched to the motor. Um, this is the upper side of our uh, set of uh, Hedman uh, 
excuse me, headers, uh, couldn't get the word out. We do have a set of MSD plug wires along with an MSD ignition back there with the matching coil, which is cool. Looks like, a, looks to me like an RPM air gap intake. It is indeed, it does look like it's got a carburetor spacer on it. Looks like it's actually a pretty nice one. It's a Moroso carburetor spacer. And atop that is a Holly Street Avenger, if I'm not mistaken, 670 CFMs is what those are. Um, now that would be, if I'm not mistaken, this is a vacuum secondary. It is indeed a vacuum secondary, electric choke. Um, all good stuff to have. And they got a nice dress up kit on the motor too. Uh, it's got a set of uh, nice Chevrolet uh, valve covers and uh, air cleaner. And this is kind of cool to get this air cleaner off. You actually spin it and the nut, uh, the stud actually comes off like that. Um, nice chrome alternator. This car does have AC on it. Um, does have a more modern style uh, brake setup in the car, as you can see here with the uh, master cylinder. Um, now, there are uh, manual brakes, but uh, you know when everything is proportioned correctly, there's nothing wrong with that. This thing does have power steering, so it does uh, help with parking. You can see up here, this is the top side of our uh, aftermarket upper control arms. Nice set of hoses, too, for your power steering. But uh, aftermarket upper control arms, everything is aftermarket up here. Nice upgraded bushings and whatnot. Does look it has uh, look like it has a little bit of a pulley kit on the car, which is cool. Uh, on this side over here, I can see some nice uh, aftermarket AN line here running our fuel pump over here. Nice uh, bent steel line here for your uh, carburetor, which is really nice. And with that rubber crap, most of the time we get rid of it if we see it anyway. But this car was built right from the get go. We didn't have to. Um, now, see here, all of our AC lines look like they're nice. All of our ground straps look like everything is just the way it should be. Everything is P clamped in place, nice and you know properly. Hoses and the belts all look good. Overall, we're pretty impressed with the build quality on this car. It's actually very, very high, and if you guys like orange, this would be your car. Um, so that all being said, if you'd like to have an uh, opportunity to come in and drive it and really check it out, which I'd highly recommend you do when you get cars like this, you know, I understand you guys want to look them over, give, call, give Tom a call, excuse me, if the uh, number below, and uh, let Vanguard Motor Sales Park, this 57, in your driveway.